Welcome DMs and Dungeon Divers and future Dungeon Divers. Um, talk about something here. Walmart and Target. There's D&D items being sold there. Who would have known? Come on in, have a seat. I'm Jimmy Lee and this is Ability Check. Roll it. Oh, that was a wonderful toy. Where's your toy? Odin, where's your toy? Look at me. Where's your toy? Show me your toy. Huh? No? No more toy? Okay. What about you, Odin? Zeus, where's your toy? Where's your toy? Kick it over. Is that your toy? Is that your toy? No? There's your toy. <laughs> now remember, D&D &D is a game that's put out by Wizards of the Coast. Now remember, I'm just going to tell you this. I'm not, I'm not affiliated with Walmart or Target um, or anything like this. I'm just telling you what I found there and, and I'm just letting you know this because I thought it was odd at the time and after thinking about it for a while, it's probably not really that odd, but who would have known? Anyway, um, a little backstory. Mm. Okay. That hurts. But anyway, <laughs> DMs, you got that one. Um, Sunday, because it's so hot in my area, my wife and I were sitting there talking about something that we could do to keep cool, you know, and the kids too. And we decided that we'll go over to Walmart and see if they have any, like, water guns or something like that that we can play outside, and, you know, and, and cool off with. Or, as a matter of fact, we were even looking for a slip and slide because we know that pools are gone. So we went to, over to Walmart and we looked for all this and it wasn't there, but while we were looking through the toy section, I came upon the D&D 5E starter kit. That's right, the starter kit. Yeah, it's right there. It was about around $20, $19 something, you know, close to $20. And then also, they had die cast metal figurines. Who would have known, right? And I was looking at them, they were a little bit bigger and um, but they had one box that had like maybe six in it, and then there was another box set that actually had a uh, beholder in it, and then they had another one that had a young red dragon. Well, I was as I was eyeing the red dragon and all that, my wife, who I am mighty in her wisdom, grabbed me and says, "Okay, we're not here for this. We got to pull." She started pulling me away, but I also noticed something else as we were leaving. They also had dice. So there was that one. So as we left there, we also went over to um, um, went over to Target. We were going to do the same thing. We were going through. We started looking through their stuff to see if they had any water guns or, or anything like that. And of course, they were out too. But while we were in the toy section, we ran into the same thing. But they also had the essential kit, which is the second part of this whole thing, and they had all the same items. And I was like, wow, check this out. This is really cool. And of course, my wife pulled me away. She goes, we're not here for this. And so she pulled us away from that, knowing me. You know, and they also had dice, and they also had the other things too, um, which was pretty cool. So now we're going to talk about a little bit about the, uh, the, the starter kit. Um, the starter kit came out when D&D &D 5e first started, and that's why they called it the starter kit. And I'm going to tell you right, it's probably really cool because I have it. And uh, not only do I have it, I've actually ran the game that's in it. The, the, game, the campaign that's in it is called The Lost Mi Mine of Fandelver. Fandelver, yeah. Fandelver. And I ran it with beginners. And believe me, it's a great campaign. I mean, it's not really long, but it's long enough to, to get, uh, uh, go through it. Um, and also, I've actually even played in it. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's well written. Everything's there. It's a really good, th uh, really good campaign. Well, in this starter kit is uh, some basic rules. Uh, it's the campaign. There's a set of dice in it. Um, uh, there's actually pre-generated characters, which actually for beginning players, that's pretty cool. And I, I uh, you know, I'm, before I even ran the campaign, I was looking at them, and they're pretty well, you know, they're not bad characters. And, and actually for beginners, it would be great for them just to use that so they don't have to 
role or anything like that. They can just use the characters that are in there. And they start at first level, and it works pretty well. Also, in the, in the starter kit, you can go to uh, uh, online. Um, they give you a code, and you go online, and you download the extras that go with the game. You know, the extra monsters, the, uh, and, and the opponents, and also magical items that go with it. Um, one thing about this, like I said, over there, it was about 19 20 bucks, but you can actually probably find it on Amazon for cheaper. I'm going to keep put a link down below for that, too. And the second one is the Essential Kit. Now, I was looking, I picked up the Essential Kit because I, I don't have that one, and I was looking at it, and I said, this is pretty good. Of course, it has a campaign. It's called Dragon of Ice Spire Peak. Um, they have blank character sheets in it. They, uh, um, um, they, of course, they have the rules in there, too. They also have a download. You can go and di digitally download uh, some things to go with it. They also had... Um, uh, one thing I thought was pretty cool, they have cards in there that have magical items descriptions. I, apparently, that's what it seems to be I, on written down on there, too. And I thought that was pretty cool. And it's something I want to get, and I want to read it, and I think I want to run it. So we'll see uh, what happens on that. And I'll tell you what, um, I'm gonna, when I do buy it, I'll do another video, and I'll do an unboxing. That one. But one of the things I did look was I went, I can't be the only one that knows uh, that that seen this somebody else has to ha have already done it so i searched the youtube and stuff like this and i found uh one of my favorite ones is nerd immersion i went there and two weeks ago he did one he unboxed the the die cast uh uh figurines um and i kind of agree with him the way he was talking about them and they're not bad they're pretty good for the price um like i said they're die cast they're metal um so they're heavy um so, yeah, I'm still thinking about that beholder and that young dra dragon, so I'll probably end up getting those too. But anyway, um, the essential kit, you, could, you can go ahead and buy them at Walmart or Target. They're close by. still cheaper to get it on Amazon. I'll have a link for both of those on there. You can also get dice. I'll have a link for, for the dice. You know, I saw some dice on there that were pretty good. Uh, matter of fact, it's a lot of dice big bag of dice and it's probably what you want to get if you're going to buy dice anyway so i have that down uh, i'll have a link down below i'm also going to put a link of the nerd immersion that one uh, where he's unboxing i'll have a link down there for that too um actually if you like nerd immersion just go ahead and subscribe and and and, and stick with that one because that's one of my favorite ones right there too well anyway just wanted to let you know what I found and huh, I know this is a little different from what I normally do but I also want to tell you right now be safe play safe you know you can play online I've got some videos for that too how to, to find a game for online I've also found out there's another one I'll get to you back to you on that one but like I said be safe play safe um, I'm Jimmy Lee y'all come back now you hear roll it